Hey everyone, Kyle Walker here. If you love cars, fixing things, or just want to understand your vehicle better, you're in the right place. I share hands-on tips, smart driving advice, and straight-up car talk without the fluff. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stick around till the end. You don't want to miss what's coming up. Let's One get into the characteristic it. phenomena of automobile business is that even if a driver has a huge experience of daily work with the car, some of its highlights he can simply not know or know very superficially. This paradox directly relates to such an unexplored by many to the end of the valve as EGR, which is installed on most modern cars. Interestingly, there are drivers who have not heard about this valve at all. What the EGR system is for. First of all, it is necessary to understand EGR what it is in the car, and what it is for. The term itself comes from the English exhaust gas recirculation, which translates as exhaust gas recirculation valve, denoted by the abbreviation EGR. Among drivers, it is called simply EGR valve for short. It belongs to those devices at the expense of which car manufacturers are trying to effectively solve large-scale and growing environmental problems, in this case, to reduce the level of environmental pollution. Such an original sensor should, according to the designer's idea, increase the efficiency of engine functioning. It also has another key task, which is closely related to the first one, to reduce fuel consumption. This is done by means of afterburning of exhaust gases, to be more precise, by means of their reuse. Needless to say, how urgent this is nowadays with many energy problems. In the West, this technique has been used for a long time and it is becoming more and more widespread in our country. Types of exhaust gas recirculation systems. The modern EGR valve can have three different formats, which differ from each other not only in appearance, but also in the very principle of operation and method of drive. In particular, the pneumomechanical system is almost the simplest and therefore, in essence, already technically and morally obsolete model. In this system, the valve is controlled by creating a vacuum in the inlet manifold of the machine. The electro-pneumatic system is modernized in such a way that the EGR valve is controlled by an electro valve, which is controlled by the engine ECU on the basis of sensor information. Finally, the electronic system is designed so that the EGR valve is, figuratively speaking, directly subordinated to the car engine ECU. Unlike the previous version, it has not two positions, but three, which allows a smoother regulation of the flow of exhaust gases. Read also, hydraulic or mechanical valve tappets. What is better for the motor design and principle of operation of the EGR valve? The exhaust gas recirculation system, which has been refined over the years, is quite ingenious. It works effectively on the principle of returning a predetermined volume of exhaust gases back to their starting point, the intake manifold space. And this is done at a strictly scheduled time. The process of mixing such gases with fuel and air takes place. The formed old mixture flows back into the engine cylinders together with a new, fresh mixture of fuel and air. The right amount is determined by the ECU, using the program laid into it at the factory, taking into account the data from a number of sensors and the location of the EGR valve, EGR malfunctions, and their diagnostics. On the basis of practice, Characteristic signs of EGR valve malfunction have been identified, which do not allow it to fulfill its direct purpose to the full extent, frequent engine idling stops, a drop in engine power when the car is accelerating, detonation, or so-called trolling, unnatural jerking of the car when it is moving. All this leads to weak, insufficient recirculation of crankcase gases, significantly reducing the efficiency of the engine. The EGR valve in a diesel car requires special attention. So, experts recommend to regularly clean it from deposits and carbon deposits every 50, 100,000 kilometers of mileage. This is one of the main ways of preventive maintenance of the valve. Given its importance for the economical functioning of the car, periodic diagnosis of the valve should become a norm for the driver and be carried out systematically to avoid its unforeseen failure. It should be remembered that for full-fledged diagnostics, it is necessary to use special equipment. That is why it is impossible to do without a targeted trip to the service station to avoid conducting the research in artisanal conditions. Why the EGR is plugged? Problems in the operation of EGR valves have prompted drivers to look for an effective antidote. 
The fact is that it is necessary to change not only the valve itself, it is necessary to thoroughly clean other parts, and this is a very expensive process. Therefore, many drivers without much thought resort to plugging the valve. If this is done technically correctly, the engine will be spared from an unforeseen and undesirable for him problem moment. Not only that, sometimes such a plug will even slightly increase the efficiency, efficiency of the power unit. In short, you have to choose the lesser of two evils. It is in the interests of the engine. Read also, danger and possible consequences of driving on the handbrake. However, a reasonable question arises in passing, how to shut off the system, especially by your own efforts, so as not to aggravate the situation. Experts recommend to take advantage of a thorough consultation with professionals of the car service according to the wise principle. One mind is good, and two are better. May you be lucky in everything. In conclusion, the EGR valve plays a crucial role in reducing harmful emissions and improving the overall efficiency of your vehicle S engine. By recirculating a portion of the exhaust gases back into the combustion chamber, it helps lower nitrogen oxide emissions and enhances fuel economy. Understanding the function of the EGR valve can aid in maintaining your vehicle's performance and ensuring it meets environmental standards. Regular checks and maintenance of this component can prevent potential issues and keep your engine running smoothly. Thank you for watching, and we hope this information has been helpful in understanding the importance of the EGR valve.